dear students of class 11 welcome you all to our online class uh, my today's class is on is a english first paper and the topic of discussion is uh, summary writing in my last class i tried to give you uh, some basic conceptions regarding how to produce a summary from a given text and in the light of uh, those conceptions today we will try to uh, produce a summary from a given text okay here is a text the text is uh, constituted of some paragraphs firstly we will try to read the text minutely and thoroughly we will read the text line by line with proper understanding and later on we will try to produce a summary from this given text okay now let us uh, try to read the given text line by line the text is about uh, the habits of a dog okay now let us read the text line by line dogs are helpful for us in many ways dogs are helpful for human beings in different ways uh, and it's a reality there are so many lessons one can learn about life from dog its love for its master is selfless it always remains faithful to its master we will learn a lifelong lesson from its master uh, one display of perpetual companionship that's why uh, you know uh, a dog is a lower animal it's a beast but we human beings have a lot of things to learn from the life of a dog okay uh, such as we can learn about uh, selfless love we can learn about uh, faithfulness and we can learn about uh, uh, companionship from the life of a dog okay second paragraph observe the eating habit of your dog observe the eating habit of your dog a dog does not eat except when hungry it does not drink unless it is thirsty it stops eating when it has had a very important thing uh, we human beings uh, in many times it so happens that we human beings do not follow the eating habits that are congenial to our health but in this case the eating habit of a dog can be a good lesson for human beings because a dog does not eat except when it is starts hungry it does not drink unless it is thirsty very important thing it stops eating when it has eaten enough okay next paragraph a dog sets the per perfect example of adaptability it can easily and quickly adapt itself to a strange place that is a dog can easily adapt itself easily and quickly adapt itself to its surroundings very important point next paragraph a dog does things with all vigor a dog does things with all vigor when there is nothing to do it lies down and rests it does not waste its, its strength and energy needlessly very important point we human beings are in the habit of many of us are in the habit of exploiting our strength and vigor unnecessarily needlessly but a dog does not do so many working people are burning candles at both the ends that is many of us are in the habit of taking excessive physical and mental pressure mental stress and this habit of taking excessive physical and mental stress stress is harmful for uh, both for our mental and physical health many suffer nervous breakdown due to stress perhaps they should learn to rest like a dog does 
very important point. The last line of the text, a dog above a ball is truly man's best friend. Now let's try to uh, summarize this given text. I have already written a summary of the text. I have already produced a summary from the given text. I am just reading it out. Dogs can teach us many lessons of life. That is, we human beings have a lot of things to learn from a dog. We human beings have a lot of things to learn from a dog. That is, dogs can teach us many lessons of life. Next sentence. It can teach us our selfless love, faithfulness and companionship. The most important things that we can learn from the life of a dog are selfless love, faithfulness and companionship. Okay? Next line, next sentence. It never overindulges. That is, a dog is not in the habit of overeating. A dog is not in the habit of overeating. It is able to adapt to its surroundings easily. A dog can easily adapt itself to its surroundings. A dog knows where to work and where to rest. A dog knows when to work and when to take rest. Dogs do not waste their efforts unnecessarily, as some of us do at work. In many cases, it so happens that we human beings are in the habit of wasting our time and energy unnecessarily. But dogs do not do so. Very important point. Thus, we can learn from dogs. Okay, dear students, now. Let me stop here. In the next class, I will come up with another topic. See you once again. Till then, keep it and be with your books. Thank you very much. Allah bless.